All right, they ask, the philosophers ask, oh death, where is thy sting? Well, it's actually in that shed. <laughs> oh, come on, Killer Bee Nation, I gotta show you something. I did a quick look. Um, this is so extremely dangerous, and it's just insane, because an old guy here came down, an old cowboy, moved down here from Montana. We're in Hereford. All right, so let's go take a look at this Killer Bee Nation. Uh, goodness sake, this thing is ridiculous. So they stung the guy 147 times, but he's 73 years old. And, you know, he, I talked to him on the phone. It's been two, almost three weeks since he got stung up. He's not doing well. Uh, I talked to him on the phone a few days ago, and he's from Montana, an old cowboy, and he said, we don't have bees like that up there. I said, well, you actually do, because Africanized bees are in all the lower 48 states, but not as aggressive as what we have. So when I took a peek at this a second ago, <laughs> I was like, no wonder he got jacked up. So I'm going to show you guys without pissing them off. We've already had a few, couple of them sniffing around. Take a look at this. Take a look at this shit. So, I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at all that comb in that corner. Now, he said that he'd sprayed them, and it looks like he did, because you can see where there's some comb on the, on the ground, on the floor, and there's no bees on the right. Well, that's what he hit with some Raid or whatever the hell he, he's using. Now, and I want to show everybody, if you're at home and in bee suits dealing with your bees, uh, and you have a couple of hives, and they're really, really pissy, and they seem to be that way all the time, <clears throat> be careful, because... Africanized bees are in all the lower 48 states, and we're seeing a lot of stuff on TikTok and uh, uh, Facebook on all of the beekeeping pages and whatnot. Um, they, oh, Africanized bees in all the lower 48, nobody even takes that into consideration. Oh, it's hot out. Well, be careful, because you can't tell by looking at them, okay? I mean, they, kill, they almost killed a guy here uh, a couple of weeks ago. 73 years old, 147 stings. Don't do it. They killed a beekeeper in Connecticut, for God's sake. So um, we're going to get suited up, and holy shit, here we go, guys. It's a big one. We got I'm ready. Tape. Ready for war, I think I am. All right, here we go, Killer Bee Nation. We're going to move this shit out of the way. I was afraid they might be under this floor, too, but yeah. look at that. They don't even know we're here yet. That's pretty awesome, actually. Now, we do not want to move this 2 by 4 because the shit thing might fall down. Holy crapazoid. Um, wow. Oh, they know we're here. Look at that. Here we go. Here They're we just go. communicating that something's wrong. Do you see that? Yes, amazing. We didn't do a damn thing. I didn't blow on them. I didn't. Right. Now, if we get um, any bees inside of our nets, of course, the voice of a reason. Look at here, they come peeling off. You see that? They're sniffing at us. And here they come. This is really not good, Killer Bee Nation. There's really no good way to do this. I want to get that chicken. Um, okay, could you get a couple of tubs? Because they're, we're going to be dragging them back and forth to the truck. I'd rather have them all stay in here with us. And a garbage bag. All right, Killer Bee Nation. I'm going to try to knock down a couple of these aggressive ones. All right, so... There, they... So the guy got on his skid steer. Um, Hosh! Can you bring one of the black rugs? Can you bring one of the black rugs? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, bring the uh, bear. Can you bring the penguin too? Yeah. Okay. Because you ain't going to believe this. They've decided. Oh, they're on. Look at the oh, it's on. So go get the uh, yeah, yeah. the penguin. Yeah. And uh, I'll spread that out once we get that shit out of the way. Okay, these guys are just nuclear. I'm gonna start knocking them down a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and send him over here. And, yeah, we can pull some of this shit. It doesn't make any difference what we do now. <laughs> is this your dog? Yeah. Right. This is your dog. Yeah. This is the dog. That's your dog on bees. And this is your dog on bees. Now look at this. I want to show you Killer Bee Nation. The whole point of this exercise is uh, bees attack dark furry things. That's why bees wear white. And I'm keeping a real close eye on my net so I don't have any bees inside. Look at them cover this stuffed animal. This is so dangerous. This shit is. Look at that. Look at that. 
So there gets to be a point where there's so much pheromone in the air that they don't really don't care what they're stinging. I'm gonna keep coating them. There's just no safe way to do this. Look at all this comb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, uh, twenty-one. Looks like 22 comb we're here. This is all propolis. We'll scrape down. You see that? Yep. All right. This is just deadly. Look at the penguin, the whatever the hell it is. That's your dog on bees. That's your dog on bees. Guys, so be careful. This is, they attack dark furry things. They just killed two dogs in Naco, um, what, a week ago? Something like that, Hosh? Yeah, last Friday. Last Friday. So even though I'm just lightly spraying the outside with this, I mean, they're just insane. This is not right. We do have to keep poking our heads out, make sure nobody's standing out there watching. All right. And so, um, damn it. Are we want to get a close up of that. Oh yeah. All right. So I'm going to get the rug and lay it down, and get a tub, and we're going to start um, taking care of these guys. Completely insane, Killer Bee Nation. All right. Excuse me, Hosh. Just looking inside my nut. I'm a little gun shy after the other day, you know? Because I got attacked, Killer Bee Nation. I got stung seven times in the head last week, and it's no fun. Damn it. All right, look at that. No stuffed animals were hurt in the filming of this video, <laughs> of this bee removal. Uh, they're stuffed animals. Okay, the good news is, I think they're mostly inside here with us. Is that good news? Anyway. Craziness, huh? Craziness. Beautiful hive. Yeah, it really is. Beautiful, healthy hive. Too bad they're Africanized. But look at this, how they are going completely insane on this. I mean, and it's going to, this, if this was an animal, it'd be dead already. And this is how they kill, you know, cows. It's insane. Now, they're leaving the fer their pheromones, their attack pheromones, all over that stuffed animal, all over the cameras and all over anything and so i have seen the air so saturated with attack pheromone they're stinging birds flying overhead telephone poles and tires on trucks literally completely insane so i'm going to give it a light dose again there's just no way to do this except get into it right all right so i'm going to get a putty knife and after getting stung seven times in the head, I'm a little uh, leery, <laughs> Timothy. Awesomeness. All right, we're going to see what we got going on here. We're going to scrape. This is empty. Empty. We're just going to see what we got, Killer Bee Nation. Wide open like this, can't sneak up on them. Easily 100,000 bees here. Maybe two. It's just stupid is what it is. Yeah, they're stinging like love. Oh my god, it's insane. Can you please peek outside quick? Yeah. Thank you. So I need this empty comb. Uh, after they've done a major attack like they did with that guy, um, stinging him that many times, uh, they will not only stay on high alert for two weeks, but they will gorge themselves on their own honey in case they have to leave the hive. Given a chance, they will not go down with the ship. Here we have some nectar, I think, don't we? Yep. So, we're just getting started. This is insane. Ouch. At this point, it all looks good. I did get stung once already. No, uh-uh. Damn it, sting. Well, I still don't like it. All right. Uh, I'm going to pull this back. Could you have me spray adhesive, please? Yeah. I'm going to pull this back and uh, do another little no see do spray adhesive. Thank you. Yeah, oh, and Ashley, would you go outside with the camera and bring it in? Because yeah. this is crazy. Craziness. Absolute craziness. All right. 
Okay, so cutting along here, cutting along here. Anything that doesn't have any honey in it, of course, this is so hard, oh, this is old. Yeah. I can't believe nobody, no kid walking by or something, you know, got hurt. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to have a, uh, a file for um, the bag, of course, you know, brood. Yes, yes. So does her knock them down or she start grabbing yep. No, I'll set that down and keep, yeah, and grabbing what? Oh, now let's knock them down. It's too dangerous. Yeah, thank you. And it's not going to honestly get any prettier because, uh, because I'm not even in the middle of the hive yet, right? Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. This is all, there's some honey there, see? Yep. So we'll brush off some bees. Try to make it so that it's, oh my god, what a nightmare. I hope the old guy lived. 73 years old, stung 147 times. Not good. Right? Wow. Okay, you want to trade places? You want to sure. cut some comb? Oh my god. And like I said, uh, yeah. Thank you. Like I said, Killer Bee Nation, no stuffed animals were hurt during the filming of this. It's a stuffed animal. They can't be hurt. They can, you can hurt their feelings. Okay, no bees inside the nets. Wow, what a nightmare, huh? Is this what dreams are made of, Hosh? Sweet dreams. <laughs> Uh, yes? <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, we got, oh no, look at all that. The next one. Yep. Yeah, we're going to get a one sheet load. That's the Latin for it. It's sheet load of honey. And of course the... Oh, look at this. What do you got? That's all brood. Yep. Up to there. Yep. So that can go in the pile. Huge hive. Huge hive. Killer bee nation. The longer the pieces you can get to put in that tub, the better. That's all honey. The longer, if you can get pieces to go stretch all the way along, that's even better. That doesn't mean they're they, all of them are going to. It's just you know, it's a matter of length. Good Lord, enough bees to kill a hundred horses here, literally. Not a hundred hoshes, a hundred. Yes. <laughs> My God, I'm already working up a sweat just from the adrenaline. Are you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when you do this work, Killer Bee Nation, the adrenaline is ridiculous. And now, I'd like to have a word with our sponsor. Oh, yeah, that's me. Ah! We have a special going on on the website, KillerBeeGuy.com. 20% off of all honey, honey butters and honey mustards that, yeah, we make. Uh, my own recipes. Yeah, we make them right at the ranch. Um, and uh, just type in uh, Wilcox. 822 because that was yesterday and that's the code that I have up so tough shit and you get 20% off that's Wilcox with two L's okay enough from, from our sponsor he's an asshole anyway <laughs> don't don't say like oh because I supply him with a really good bee suit that's the only reason <laughs> if I supplied him with a shit bee suit he'd be like he's an asshole that's all drone fruit along with a little bit of that's a great example of 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 drone and worker bee, drone and worker bee. Yep. Cut me a piece of that. Cut me a piece of that. I'm gonna fire it up. So people ask me, do you smoke your bees? And I tell them, yeah, they're hard to keep lit. All right. So I want to show you guys here. This is um, a great example of drone. The big caps. You see how they're kind of rounded. That's where male babies are born, drones, males are born. And then the smaller flat ones up here, that's where the worker bees are born. And I don't see any queen cells on this, but... So this is all a really great example of two uh, parts of the egg laying process. So, not very nice, are they? Oh, look at that honey. Look at that honey, Hosh has. This is a badass honey. This is a bad, 
and sides. And you notice how they're building uh, down, about halfway down is all brood down below, and then the honey's on top. And that's, that's how they normally do it. Uh, man, after last week, with almost getting killed, I tell you, it'll get your adrenaline going even after 30 years of doing this shit, you know? a dream hive right here. Yeah, unless you do it wrong, it's a ream hive. A what? Ream. Oh, Let me get your ass reamed. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is just ridiculous. Oh my god. You got it. Yeah. Has that been enough? Okay. Hey, you, get, you know, you should see Hosh and I after a bunch of jobs in a day and about 300 miles. Oh, that was yesterday. Anyway. <laughs> that was in Wilcox. Oh, yes, that's right. We have a special. Wilcox with two L's. 822. 20% off at KillerBeeGuy.com. And that was a word from our sponsor. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoy this shit because we actually do. It's crazy as hell. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I know. You're goofy. I just, all those years of therapy didn't work, apparently. <laughs> well, they primed me for this. Primed you for this, This yes. is where you end up. Well, oh, good God. Yeah, just not, in general, this is where you end up. Not a very good advertisement for therapy, is it? <laughs> anyway, no, actually, if you have a chance to uh, test yourself without getting killed, that's a good thing, because it'll, it'll make you appreciate life in everyday moments a lot more. Is that right, Hosh, or am oh, I just completely full of shit? don't sweat the small stuff anymore. No shit, exactly. Well put, well put. Look at them on my net, guys. Look at them on my net. See, they go for the CO2 coming out of your nose and mouth. This is horrifying. They have taken bees uh, out of lungs, lungs from people that have been attacked. Uh, it's just, it's just the, it's just evil. These are not our grandfather's honey bees. Hey, look at this. This is all fallen. Oh, really? Beautiful. Oh, look at that, all that pollen. That's the Viking stuff there, by go. There you go. All right, so what do we got here? So Hosh is really making good work of this, letting him do the heavy stuff. Then we're going to want to scrape down a bunch of that um, propolis along the two by fours, yes, we'll and um, and put that in. We'll just put it in with the with the comb, the good yep. comb. Then Killer Bee Nation, we're actually going to get out some uh, uh, pyrethrin and kill these little bastards because it's just it's just too much. It's just too damn dangerous. They are not calming down. It's just they're e they're not they're evil. So there. That's all I can say about it. Oh my God. <sighs> Oh my god. <clears throat> and then, uh, we have more jobs uh, coming up, of course, Killer Bee Nation. Uh, and you go to YouTube and see our full length of it. All of our shorts are on uh, TikTok and Instagram and all that good stuff. And, um, wow, look. Stuff huh? Viking stuff. Yeah, Viking stuff, exactly. Right, I'm going to put this on its own and then I'm going to scrape the... The propolis? Okay. Yeah. Wow, this is an incredible amount of bees and they this. uh... The penguin has really taken a beating, uh, a beating, get it? So, so saturated with, I guess it's a penguin, I don't know what the hell it is. And that's a mashup between a penguin and a penguin. I guess, it's kind of sad. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what's going on with this thing. Except it's a good example of how a dark furry thing gets attacked. I mean, they just hate dark furry things. Now, the whole theory behind that, of course, is what are their natural enemies? Dark furry things, bears, wolf, wolf. Uh oh, where? Okay, Hosh just got stung. I can. Did you hear that little? In the shoulder. So he got a damn it sting. Okay, I have to interrupt my train of thought on the uh, getting attacked thing. Um, when when we get stung through the suits, you guys, um, it, when a stinger sticks in you, it's like a hypodermic needle. Uh, that's what a stinger is with barbs on it. <laughs> so it's really hard to get out. And so, when a stinger sticks in you, of course it's a kamikaze mission for the bee, they go away, they disembowel themselves, it's totally sick, and die. And then the um, uh, 
stinger stays in you. Now on top of the stinger are two venom sacs that will pump venom into you autonomously for up to five minutes. Really? Without the beat. And so uh, that's why we say scrape the stinger out. All right, scrape it out. Do not pinch it out. If you pinch it out, you're getting a full dose. It's a hypo. So when we get stung through the suit, we move automatically, of course. It's like, damn, it hurts. We call those, and so it pulls the stinger out, we get a minute amount of venom. We call those damn it stings because it just pisses us off to no end. All right. So Hosh is really doing great as far as scraping this. Uh, here, we got some propolis up here on this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get all that. And then I think we're at the level where we can get some uh, pyrethrin and kill these little bastards. I'm going to take a peek outside again and make sure nobody's getting into trouble. It's nice being in a rural situation like this, beautiful Cochise County, um, because we're not right downtown, <laughs> right? Man. It makes me so nervous when we're right in downtown in the mix of things. It's just horrible. God, look at all those bees on the wall. So it takes about 500 stings to equal a snake bite, guys. FYI. And now I'd like everyone to enjoy. We're going to do some BSMR. Enough of that shit. Oh, go do it, Bush. Look at that. Killer bees. Deadly as hell. All right. And now, Bush. Yeah. I'd like a moment of your time. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Already. I thought for sure that there was going to be bees under this floor. That's where they usually are in sheds. Look at him. He's covered in bees. Look at this. Look at ridiculous. So we brush each other off uh, before uh, we get out of the suits, of course. Because we have to. Looking really good. Yeah. All right, I'm going to set this up and go get some, uh, knock them down. Oh my god. Woo! What a deal, Killer Bee Nation. I can't it's just amazing. I can't believe that the guy didn't die. And honestly, we don't know. So uh, we're gonna put the we're at the 99% level. It's clean up now. Knock these guys down. We love you guys. Thank you so much for coming along with us on these journeys. Uh, it's nobody else does this kind of crazy shit, right? Um, so actually there are a few others, but I don't know if they're still alive. <laughs> anyway. Uh, go to KillerBeeGuy.com, get some honey, the 20% coupon, Wilcox with two L's, 822. And uh, yeah, just uh, stay safe out there, you guys. If you keep bees, comment. Uh, let me know about your aggressive bees. You can't tell by looking at them if they're Africanized. But the Africanized, genetically Africanized bees are in all the lower 48 states. Be careful out there. They're not going away. All right, guys. Love you guys. We'll take you on the next journey. <laughs>